Hello friends, in this video tutorial we are going to look at the recombination repair of the double stranded brakes with the help of the holiday model explanation. Now we are having homologous chromosomes which are aligned with each other and one of the chromosomes are having a double stranded brake. So we are having this whole gene but in between them we are having a break. Now, as a result of this double stranded break, the product of this whole gene is not synthesized in continuous way and the products can be lost. So you must have access to this uh, double stranded break and we can repair, we must repair the break to get the desired genetic product. Okay. So a double stranded break in one of the two homologous is converted to a double stranded gap with the help, as you can see in this picture, with the help of uh, an exonucleus uh, activity, with the help of three prime, three primes are uh, degraded in less and five primes are degraded in higher amount. So remember, this is the five prime here. Let me take a color. Okay, take the color. Fine. Now here, this is the five prime. So we must produce, uh, we must degrade the nucleotide sequences larger amount from the or higher amount from the five prime end and lower amount from the three prime end. As a result, our actual goal is to produce a three prime overhang in both the strands. So we have produced a three prime o overhang, three prime single stranded extensions. And then an exposed 3' prime end pairs with its comp complement in intact homolog. The other strand uh, duplex is displaced. So you can find here, so this part of the 3' prime strand is placed in this direction. And uh, in for this process of strand invasion, we must access, uh, this, this DNA must access to the REK A protein. Because REK A will bind with the single stranded overhang and it can guide the single stranded overhang to this other homologous region of the DNA and it will pair with the homo uh, pair with homology to this other strand so it pairs with with the help of homology then what happens the invading 3 prime ends is extended by the DNA polymerase and the branch migration occurs and for this to occur we must have access to the REC BCD proteins now REC BCD proteins will come and it will help the bra branch migration process as you can see here in this case both the direction branch migration is going on in, in this and in this direction Okay, and they lead up to the formation of a holiday intermediate. Now this is a holiday junction. This is one holiday junction. This is another holiday junction here. Now further DNA replication replaces the DNA missing from the site of original double stranded break. Now this is the original double stranded break. This one and this one. These regions are filled with newly synthesized DNA strands with the help of the polymerase. So these are this is the region, and this is another. These two regions are newly synthesized. Okay. So these are the region of newly synthesis of DNA. This is synthesized by polymerase. And then we need to have resolvation, right? So we need to resolve the structure to get the desired product. Now the resolution can be done in two different ways. One is that we can uh, resolve uh, both of the sequence uh, either horizontally or vertically, lead up to the formation of uh, a typical type of product. Or we can resolve it uh, one vertically, one horizontally and such a way. So th this could be four different types of variations can be produced but among all those variations one type of variation can lead up to the generation of a recombinant type another one uh, lead up to the generation of non-recombinant type. For example here we can find this is a non-recombinant type of a product this is the recombinant type of product because both of the DNA strands are shuffled with the two different types of DNA strands. That's why it is called a recombinant set and this is not a recombinant set. Okay, because one of the each strands are conserved throughout the sequence. Okay. So that's how double stranded break can be repaired with the help of this recombination repair. And bacteria cells are usually applying this re recombination system or the homologous recombination system to repair their DNA strands. That's the most important application of recombination system in bacterial cells and in eukaryotic systems too this recombination helps in this kind of uh, shuffling and uh, during the crossing over it helps to generate the variations and also it helps in the DNA segregation process too so uh, this is it and I hope it will help you thank you